Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Blessed are you, O Holy Virgin Mary, deserving of all praise, for from you rose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother, Mary, was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to make Mary your wife and take her into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All of this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and bear a son. They shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, as we celebrate the feast of uh, the birth of Mary, uh, it's really a moment to uh, experience and be open to God's plan unfolding uh, with Mary and with her yes to the Holy Spirit. Uh, she gave birth to uh, Jesus, whom we have come to know as Lord and Savior, Son of God. Uh, and in many ways, it's really uh, her act of faith that's enabled uh, uh, really God's plan to unfold. So her yes to God. So that becomes really the first question for us, is our own yes to God, our own experience of God's presence in our lives, and our own experience of uh, God speaking to us and calling us to um, bear his son in the world, to be Christ's bearers. Uh, the second is to know Jesus as Emmanuel as God is with us, each of us. And so as we enter this Eucharist, it's really a moment for us to take him into ourselves in his body and blood as we receive communion and to experience that God is truly with us.